Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato. Welcome back to the biohazard that is the Project Hospital Infectious Diseases DLC series. That's right. Okay. Uh, in the last episode, I mean, in the last episode, we got quite a lot done. We've got our Infectious Diseases building. Um, there is there is something that I do need to do straight away here. I've got 1,500 bucks in the bank, which is real good. I mean, you know, no guarantee uh, that it's going to last forever, but that's totally fine. Anyway, I need to get myself a vending machine in this vicinity because boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, people love spending cash on vending machines and who am I who am I to not supply them with a regular vending machine and also a coffee vending machine okay cool so now that we've got that done we don't have to have anyone faffing around going uh, going across the infectious diseases area and potentially carrying a, a deadly contagion back across to the main building in the hospital right cool so what are we going to do over the course of this episode well in the first instance we want to sort out these unbelievably untidy corridors i mean absolutely disgraceful frankly uh, the way that they look uh, one way that we can fix this is just immediately by hiring more janitors i mean that's kind of what we should be doing pretty consistently as we go cheapest janitors as ever please thank you very much so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sort out the uh, the corridors. So that's fine. Uh, we need to reach five thousand bucks of daily profit at the general surgery department. Honestly, that's probably gonna be the easiest of all of these missions to accomplish. So we're gonna try and do that. Uh, correctly diagnose patients of controlled doctors in intern mode. Again, I think that I need to take control of uh, of one of these doctors. But you know what? If you've got any intel on how the heck that's supposed to work, then by all means, let me know in the comments. Maybe I just hire an intern and then take control of them. I guess we can try that. I guess we can try that. I, I, I don't actually know. I, I have absolutely no idea. I mean, I did have... I don't know where Potato went. Potato is, is just chilling up uh, is chilling up in here, isn't he? Yeah, there we go. No, that's Frank Davis. Potato's around here somewhere. He, he's, around, he's, he's around here somewhere. I, oh, goodness gracious me. I hope he's not in operation. Oh, boy. I, I would be... That would be not, not exactly ideal. Potato over there? Is that a potato? That's not a potato. That's not a potato. Okay. Potato has gone walkabout. But I'm sure he's gonna turn up. I'm sure he's gonna turn up. It's totally fine. Anyway, yeah, we created our we created our own doctor. We created our own doctor in the last episode, which was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we, we haven't uh, we haven't got the doctor's mode to to start really working yet. But that's fine. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will in time. Uh, can I hire some more cleaning staff, please? Thank you very much. More cleaners. More cleaners. Yeah, we just need many, 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 many more cleaners because even the corridors up here are just slowly but surely becoming just a little bit too dirty. And uh, we want to make sure that we're keeping everywhere clean. So yeah, we've got that to do. How much debt have we taken on? Only 200 grand. Honestly, that's not that much. Not that much at all. We're fine with that. How much How much are we paying in, in wages? Well, for day wages, we're, uh, we're shelling out about 15 grand about 15 grand thereabouts so that's uh so that's fine i suspect that we might end up turning a profit at the end of today certainly if we have a little look at the situation tomorrow once these uh once these eight untreated patients have have disappeared uh, the reason that they'll disappear hopefully is because the day is going to end which is which is nice uh, in the first instance very very nice to to get rid of uh to get the, uh, rid of that blemish uh, on our record but that's okay I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get seven days of untreated patients. I have a funny feeling that that is just going to be unlikely to happen. Banned legation. Yeah, so here's the problem. Here's the problem is that we can't actually do... We can't actually do surgery during the evening, which I honestly feel needs to be rectified as we have, like, a lot of patients that need surgery. Like, we really, really do. We've got people in the intensive care unit that need surgery... Uh, and that needs to be done. It needs to be done soon. I just wonder, is there a chance that maybe we can assemble a, a surgery team uh, over the course of the evening? The problem is, is that we do need, we need a surgeon, right? We need a surgeon, so we need a doctor. A doctor to be, to be the surgeon, and none of the doctors here are qualifying as a, as a surgeon trait. Um... Yeah, which is not exactly ideal. We also need we also need nurses who can deal with medical surgery. So Peter Adams, you are you are good enough to be night shift chap. Peter Adams, welcome on board. And let's see if we can get another medical surgeon. A medical surgeon, medical medical nurse. 
Uh, no, no, there is no, there is no other, there is no other medical nurse here. I mean, I can go in to find new candidates. Ah, brilliant. That's excellent. Okay. And we'll hire, we'll hire you. Brilliant. So you can assist at surgery. You can assist at surgery. You're the surgeon that we've got. You've got the skills. So we need an anesthetist in the evening. And we also need somebody who's good at operative surgery. I mean, that is, that is just exactly the one-two combo that I'm after. We're going to end up increasing the number of doctors, the number of nurses that we've got. But honestly, I think that that's, I think that that's fine. The general surgery department needed to be improved anyway. Right. You're going to prepare for surgery now. That's excellent. I don't know who the, the lucky recipient of the, uh, of the surgery is going to be, but that's okay. At least we can, at least we can do it. Bed required for treatment. Uh, yeah, hospitalized, waiting for free operating room. You are indeed, you are indeed the individual that's going to be, that's going to be seen to, I believe. Either way, we should be ready to go. We should be ready to go. We should be, we should be ready to go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so Linda Jones, you are the person that is in intensive care. We've got the, we've got the surgery nurses. I do want to try and get myself like a bespoke surgery team, but we'll address that later, later on once we've got, uh, once we've got a, once we've got a much more substantial staff, I hope. Okay, reach ninety percent prestige at any specialized department. Next intern available for hire will be a great candidate. Reach five thousand daily profit at the general surgery department. Bonus twenty percent prestige for two days, and patient numbers are back to normal. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can try and treat sixty-five patients over the course of today. I mean, that seems, that seems like a little bit of a stretch, but you know what? We'll give it a shot nonetheless. Perform ten surgeries. That's gonna be super easy to do. Uh, what else? Uh, open an internal medicine department clinic that gives us a 20,000 government grant purchase three ambulances as well hmm okay I mean look there's a lot of there's a lot of work to be done here there is a lot of work to be done and at least we're able to at least we're able to do to do surgery treatments over the course of the evening now that's that's a good step in the right direction let's just hope nobody dies that's that's another thing that we've got to look out for uh, and indeed we will be looking out for but yeah, I would say that at the moment, the hospital is in a really, really, really good place. Uh, we want to set up our infectious diseases hospitalization unit. Um, I'm a little bit apprehensive about that, but uh, but I guess we can just see we can just see exactly what we need. We need to sort out like the, the bulk of the hospital first, because there's no point in having an infectious diseases area that works perfectly if we don't have the capacity elsewhere to actually just treat people for normal stuff. Right, you are just like, you're just not having any joy here. Uh, you're prepping for surgery. Do we just, are we just completely out of nurses? Are both of our night nurses? Yeah, okay, here's the issue. Both of our night nurses are surgery nurses. We've got one nurse that deals with patient care and patient transport. Okay, so you know what? Let's, let's hire two additional night nurses. Hire two additional night nurses to help out, help move the patient. That should be a little bit quicker. Yeah, because if one thing, if one thing breaks down, if one thing breaks down in our hospital whilst we're whilst we're doing surgery, then it holds up. It holds up the whole the whole hospital, the whole darned hospital. Either way, the fact that we've managed to crack through two two operations during the evening is really really good. That's going to help cure the backlog for the uh, for the day the day team, the day surgery team. Okay, we are 20, 24 grand in debt, but that's okay. I'm not particularly worried about it. What we're going to have to wait and see. We're gonna have to wait and see how many patients end up coming into the into the hospital today, and if we're able to to make a profit. The good news is the good news is prestige is looking good. We should be getting a, a little bit of a bonus prestige boost from completing that mission, uh, whatever whatever the mission was, the the insurance objective thing. So we'll we'll see exactly what the heck happens here. You're idle. You haven't gone to the receptionist yet. That's fine. Having one receptionist is a little bit embarrassing. But that is that is completely fine, and we can just about we can just about deal with that. We can just about deal with that. Uh, Jessica Garcia, I almost feel like I want to fire you and just like get my my intern in place just to see if we can just to see if we can find the uh, just to see if we can do this objective correctly: diagnose patients of control doctors in intern mode. I think that might be something that I want to do. Patient got diagnosed incorrectly. You didn't have lead poisoning, you just have insomnia. I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. That's probably my fault. That's probably my fault. We'll diagnose you with sleeping drugs and then we can send you home. Sure. Excellent. Okay, so far so good though. No 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 issues other than other than Barbara Harris's incorrect diagnosis. 
can just about tolerate that. Patient can't be fully treated. Uh, appendicitis, laroscopic surgery. What's the issue? Hospitalization is required. Is the issue... So what you're telling me, video game, the issue is, is that he can't actually be allocated a bed. That's the real issue here. That is the real issue, is that the entirety of the area is full. It's full with people. Like, everyone is... Everyone that's that's in the department has already got a bed. Uh, look, we can leverage ourselves a little bit more. I mean, it's a little bit of a bridging loan. What can I say? But it's not gonna... Not gonna come back to bite us in the bahuki, is it? No, of course not. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, potato. Okay, can I fill a, a bed in here? I did talk about doing this, didn't I? We could just get, like, what? One... Two additional regular wards in here. It's not the craziest idea in the world, to be to be honest with you. We could get another... We could get another one over here. Right, you know what? Let's go for one... Let's go for one bed over there. And then, what, what space does that leave me with? I mean, it's a little bit funky to do, but I feel like we could... I feel like we could do another bed in here, and then another bed in here. And then just sort of bring down the wall between these two rooms, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Or we could, you know, customize customize this room to be uh, to be slightly larger and slightly more bespoke. Either way, I think you should now be able to be hospitalized. There we go. We will regularly hospitalize you, and then we will laroscopic surgery if I you. Excellent. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Patient can't be fully treated. Another patient that can't be fully treated because of the fact that we don't have that we don't have a bed because bed is needed to to do dialysis and dialysis is a very 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 expensive treatment and I'm very very interested. Okay, let's deal with John Robinson before before we deal with this. Okay, let's grab a let's grab a prefab grab a prefab for a room. Now we are gonna get. We are going to get just a regular ward. We'll just throw in the regular ward, like, right over here. Which, as I say, is fine for now. It's fine for now. Excellent. You've been diagnosed incorrectly. I know. But that's okay. Regular hospitalization. And then dialysis. Excellent. Hospitalized, going to bed. Beautiful. You cannot have the thing that we thought you did have. There you go. That's right. And we'll give you, we'll give you numbing ointment. Congratulations. There we go. This is the problem with not this is the problem with not asking your your doctors to diagnose to a high degree of certainty. You could have you could have issues like this crop up from time to time. But that's okay. That's okay. So we've added two extra rooms. We've taken out 20 20 grand of a loan, uh, which I'm not exactly happy about, but that is what it is. Preparing for surgery, brilliant. We're preparing for surgery really quite quickly, I think. The thing that does worry me is do we have do we have too few nurses? Is that what the issue is here? Another flipping surgery that we need to do? How many surgeries? How many surgeries are the general surgery department actually doing? There, these are a lot of surgeries that we're that we're doing. I I mean I can continue to try and add beds. I, I mean that's that is something that I can do. Um I, I'm I feel like I feel like I'm just adding as many beds as I possibly can at this point, which is somewhat ridiculous. You know? Okay, you know what? Let's get... Let's get that in there. Grab that... Grab grab that in there. So that's gonna be... That's gonna be, you know, an extra... An extra room. Which is great. Let's get you regularly hospitalized. And then I'll give you the surgery for appendicitis. Again, the reason that I'm so keen to do so many surgeries is because the surgeries bring in a lot of money. Now that we've got 24-hour round-the-clock surgery ability... We should be grand. Hospitalized, waiting for a free uh, operating room. Cool. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, so we've dealt with almost everyone that needs to be dealt with, which is great. Very, very happy with that. Okay, presumably these guys are still preparing for surgery. Excellent. Linda Jones, you're hospitalized at this moment in time, filling your free time by not moving and not doing anything. And we've got some idle nurses. We've got some idle nurses, which means that there is some other delay... There's some other delay in our in our ability to do to do surgery. I don't know what it is. Presumably, it's the fact that the surgery nurses are just waiting around. I, I don't actually know. Patient is collapsing. Sarah Hill is collapsing. Where are you collapsing? You're collapsing, waiting for care over here. Trauma center hospitalization and also a patient can't be fully treated. 
IV antibiotics. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I frankly cannot believe, I cannot believe trauma center hospitalization. Okay, first of all, do we have, do we have anyone in the trauma center at this moment in time? We do. Hospitalized waiting for a bed. Wow. Okay, so we're missing an HDU bed and we're also missing a regular hospitalization bed. The regular hospitalization bed is, is an easy fix. Here's what we're going to do for the regular hospitalization bed. We're going to build the foundations out. We're going to build the foundations out by like another teensy tiny bit. These walls, what are the color of these walls? They're these walls. Excellent. So we'll do that. It costs us hardly anything. Cut that out there. We'll grab some nice floor. We're going to pretend, we're going to pretend like this was always meant to be a double room. But in fact, it's just a cheeky little excuse to add an extra bed in here. Uh, what do I need? Yeah, I need a regular ward. Thank you. Right. So the regular ward gets bumped up in size. Then we add another hospital bed. That's right. Add it over there. Bedside cabinet. Sure. And a bed socket. Nice. So now we've got a bespoke, semi-bespoke double room, which is kind of nice. Patient can't be fully treated. You're going to be regularly hospitalized. And then you're going to be given IV antibiotics, which is great. Cool. Now you're hospitalized going to your bed. Uh, collapsed patient is still waiting. Don't even worry about it, video game. We're on it. I think that it's time that we get in a, that we get a big HDU room, right? Like, this has got to be something that we do. The question is, where do we do it? The question is, where do we do it? Where do we get our, our extra HDU room? We've got the cash for it. I say that we've got the cash for it. We don't really have the cash for it, but... I mean, here? Here? Is that... I mean, how long is this... How long is this area, anyway? So this is 24. So, I mean, if I do the maths on this, we keep four free. We keep four free for a corridor, like we've done over here as well. I, I want to... I want to make sure that this hospital is actually functional in, like you know, 10 episodes or something. Because boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit concerned that we're we're gonna just end up making it a, a maze. A maze, a muddle, and a mess. All of those would be, would be awful. Okay. But I think that, I think that we can get away with doing this. I mean, 12 and 12. We could actually get two over here, like two, uh, two, whatchamacallit, two, two high dependency units, but I don't think I want to. Sure. It's dicey. It's it, look. We're suspended over. There's there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing for. Look at this. Look at this awful, awful bit of architecture here. It's dreadful. Anyway, uh, the good news is is that the champ, who is down here, can be moved up to general surgery. Yep, general surgery immediately. It would be good if we could get a, an elevator over here somewhere. That would be really, really good. Collapsed patient is being transported to another hospital. Oh no! I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't put you into the the trauma center, unfortunately. But you know what? You live and you learn. And all of these mistakes or all of these little little issues that we come across will be used to improve the hospital and have been used to improve the hospital, actually. Uh, okay, so we made a big 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 amount of money i wasn't even focusing on how much we and how much on anything that we did actually in the uh, infectious diseases area but that's making a serious amount of cash a uh, general surgery actually lost money which is kind of insane to consider given that we have like a crazy 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 amount of what the heck why can you not be treated hdu hospitalization put you into the hd i gift Ah, come on. Okay, well, two patients, two patients out of 64, not getting treated. That's that's just about that's just about as good as it gets. I'm fine with that. I'm I'm totally fine with that. Okay, let's let's get back to work. How are we doing? Both in radiology and also in the medical labs department, we're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. It's totally fine. Uh, hospitalized and sleeping. Yes, I know you have to wait a long time for your surgery, but frankly, that's not not my concern at this moment in time. We still have three people on the surgery, uh, on the surgery list. Which means that you are the fourth person. So you've just had your surgery now, which is great. 
fantastic. Love to see it. We got a lot of people that are going to be getting better tomorrow. So the way that the game works, actually, is the uh, is the game makes people better all at the same time. So at eight o'clock in the morning, everyone will just magically get better. It's kind of it's kind of insane to see, but it's pretty cool. So we should we should be on the lookout for almost everyone. Oh no, nationwide financial crisis causes fifteen percent lower insurance payments. I hate to see that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's not exactly ideal. However, we did have one hundred eight percent prestige yesterday, which means that our patient intake is one hundred five percent, and the insurance payout is uh, is one hundred twenty percent. So that's very very nice. Anyway, you'll magically see everyone get better. Everyone get better at. Uh, at a certain moment at a certain moment and that moment is 8 a.m in the morning okay patient is collapsing i'm sure that you'll be treated just fine hospitalized collapsing john you're going to be taken to you're going to be taken to icu i hope and quickly as well oh no Oh, it's a disaster. The surgeons haven't found the expected symptoms during surgery. The patient was most likely misdiagnosed. A $20,000 penalty has been immediately applied by their insurance company. Please, can we just not cover this up? That's why there were so many darn surgeries. There were so many darn surgeries because... Because we were, we were, just, we were just not doing our duty of care. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's crank it back up to high. I, I, I really... Don't want, I really don't want an issue like that to ever occur again, please, video game. That is, that is not what I, what I like to see. 20 grand just out of the, out of the blue. It's, it's not, it's not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, speaking of not cool. Uh, corridor not accessible for patients. Doesn't need to be accessible for patients, to be honest. It's totally fine. Uh, right, good stuff. Good, 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 good stuff. Let's just make sure that the cleaners are able to are able to clean this area up because at the moment it's uh, it's not looking super good. Anyway, the fact that we lost twenty grand today not a not great to see. Yesterday we basically turned a profit. To be honest, we basically turned a profit, which was uh, which was pretty darn darn good. Hospitalized, transported to another room. Excellent. Like to see that. The the length of time that it takes the nurses to get to the trauma center uh, is not is not exactly ideal. We need to we need to put an elevator right down here somewhere so that we can get people to the ICU and from the trauma center slightly faster. I think that would be good. Long wait for examination. Margaret Lopez. Oh, were you the one that had the the surgery? Can I just double check to make sure honestly that 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 is a that that is definitely a thing that we need to do. From now on, you know, we need to be super careful with surgeries. That's really embarrassing. A clinic in the patient is about to leave. Oh, do I not have any... Do I not have any night doctors over in the infectious diseases area? I don't have any night doctors over in the infectious diseases area. That is entirely my bad. I'm so, so sorry. No matter. Let's get... Uh, let's get that sorted. Let's get that sorted and we'll just hire two night doctors. Uh, I mean, two night doctors. It's a little bit overkill, probably, but uh, I'd rather I'd rather just give it a shot. Uh, bed required for treatment dialysis has occupied your staff for a long time. Uh, why? You should be able to get dialysis, to be honest. You should definitely be able to get dialysis. It's just the problem that the shifts are changing over, I guess, which is a little bit of a pain in the backside for everyone. But that's fine. Either way, infectious diseases is looking good. Pretty happy with that. Negative 53 grand in the hole. Don't even, don't even look at that, folks. Don't even look at that. It's fine. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing untoward going on here. Right, you, Frank Hall, you're fired. Get out of here. Get out of here. Dismiss employee. Get out of here. You are an alcoholic and you're loyal. Takes 20% less salary when level, when leveling up. Okay, that would, that would have been a nice quirk to, to have, but I'm not, I'm not overly bothered about it. Let's see if we can try and create a brand new, a brand new doctor. I want to create a brand new doctor, and I want to get, I want to get an intern. I want to get an intern, that's what I want to do. Okay, so, we go into this screen. Oh, you're a night doctor. No, Frank, that's Frank Hall. You're fired. Yeah, get out of here, Frank Hall. Excellent. Okay, so, this is a, this is a, a great intern candidate, which, which is good. I, I, you know, I like you, don't. Don't, don't get me wrong. All needs are reduced much slower. You're Spartan. And you're a diagnostic genius. Well, who am I to turn down a diagnostic genius? I'll tell you who I am. 
I am. I am. Intern. Intern. McIntern. That's right. Intern McIntern. That actually sounds like a name. <laughs> as crazy as it does sound. Um, okay, level intern, obviously. Can I be a diagnostic genius too? Sure. I can also be... Dirty feet. Unpleasant. Fast metabolism. Alcoholic or long commutes. Uh... Slow learner, I think, is probably... Is probably fine. Alright. Take out a loan. I want to fund this doctor. I know that I've... I know that I've done this already. Oh. But I think that this... This is where... This is where... This is where Intern McIntern belongs. Okay, excellent. So, control doctors. Intern McIntern. He's going to do the uh, the diagnosing of people, which is excellent. He's got a supervisor, also brilliant. Let's wait until the rush comes in. Patient returned with incorrect diagnosis. Oh my god. Okay, this is why we this is why we leave the treatment on on high here. It's a disaster. Okay. So, doctor mode, control doctors. When it's green, when it's green, it means that there's an examination. Okay. Now, I want to see, can we... We can either diagnose you with a cold or respiratory synctal virus. Now, what are we going to do that can determine? Sore throat. These are the symptoms. Physical examination, physical examination. What else? Chest, accutation, fever. Okay, they're pretty much exactly the same. Apart from physical examination, inflamed sinuses, nasal, nasal cavity inspection. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to do a nasal, a nasal, a nasal viral cavity inspection. Nasal cavity inspection. Okay, do that, intern McIntern face. And that'll either tell us if you've got a common cold or if you've got the other virus thing. Excellent. Wait, so you didn't have that? It said that you've got nasal congestion? So we weren't able to determine, apparently, what the heck was in there. Okay, we could do we could do some sampling. I mean, temperature measurement is just going to yield that we have all of these symptoms. I mean, I know that that is the case. Um, sure. You know what? Do Just do, do loads of stuff. Do loads of stuff. Let's correctly diagnose patients. Do we need to do it in the order? Do we need to do it in the order of the of the diseases to confirm? Nurses are complaining that there are not enough stretchers at the general surgery department. Okay, that's a, that's actually an easy fix. It's a super easy fix, actually. Let me just keep everything on the screen for now. And then... Oh, look at that. A stretcher used to transport mobile patients. Right, easy peasy. Switch back. Okay. All right, so I guess I'm just going to go through the through the line here. Oral cavity inspection. Yeah, we did do the oral cavity inspection, and there's still a 50-50 chance of it being a common cold. We're still trying to uncover these symptoms here. Uh, don't do that. Do temperature measurement instead, because I'd rather, I'd rather not send a patient to the medical labs if we can avoid it. There's still 50-50, as we knew there would be. As we knew there would be. The only thing that can tell us... The only thing that can tell us the difference is the, navel, is the nasal cavity inspection. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps there is an issue. Perhaps there is an issue with, uh, with, with newbie doctors like Intern McIntern. Who are not qualified to do anything. Or not, not able, should I say, to be able to see uh, interesting stuff. Uh, this is the other patient that we've got. Golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, or elbow bursitis. I'm going to diagnose you with uh, with golfer's elbow. There we go. Consider yourself diagnosed. I can treat you to an ice wrap. There we go. And then send you home. Sure, that's fine, right? 
And what are you doing now? You're fulfilling your needs. Okay, there's a chance that we might only find out exactly what the issue, uh, the issue with the patients are. Ah, oh, transported patients been... Blunt spleen rupture, abdominal surgery. We weren't able to do the abdominal surgery fast enough. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. Specialist mode. <gasps> I've done it. No hints and diagnostics. Normal mode. Resident mode, specialist mode. Oh, I don't I don't want to do that. Okay, I figured out. I figured out. Intern mode. No hints and diagnostics. Good stuff. Okay. Now we're in intern mode. We've we've done it. 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 There was no there was no intel, by the way, on that. There was no intel at all on, on what the heck that was supposed to, to do. Senior scientist, congratulations. That's great. Really, really good to see. Let's hope intern McIntern is gonna be able to is gonna is gonna do this. Alright, what's going on here? You're going to the you're going to your chair, but you've already been diagnosed with the correct disease. You just need to be You just need to be given a treatment option, right? IV antibiotics? Except you can't be anti uh, antibiotics until you are in bed. Are there no spaces in bed? For real? Have we got have we got an, an entirely filled out hospital? We can't HDU hospitalize you. We just don't have enough regular beds? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Look, all of these all of these things are are good. HDU hospitalization. This level of hospitalization is not available at emergency. Transfer you to general surgery. Just transfer the patient away. Transfer the patient away. HDU hospitalization and then give them what they need. IV antibiotics. There you go. Sure. Just deal with the patient. You have got something else. I can give you this. Can't be prescribed at this department. Okay, so I just need to move you to another department then. That's irritating that I, uh, that I need to do that. Can we, can we, can we do something about this? There we go. Okay, so. Come on. In you come. Next patient is coming. Brilliant. Patient is in the room. Okay, so now we don't have any hints and diagnostics. We don't have any hints and diagnostics and we need to try and, we need to try and figure this out. I mean, look, to be brutally honest, I, I think we just run down, we run down some standard, some standard operations and we see exactly what the heck is going on. Temperature measurement, I don't think that's going to help make any difference. Neck palpitation, don't think that's going to make any difference. We'll do the physical examination and we'll see exactly what the heck of the result of this is. Okay, excellent. There's still a chance of nail fungus or athlete's foot. Now, it does actually matter. It does actually matter, this, the symptom that differentiates... That differentiates this. Physical examination. Fungal cultivation. That's what we need to run, right? Fungal cultivation. Yeah, this one. I think that's the one. We could give you an MRI scan, although I'm almost certain that that would not determine what the issue is here. Patient couldn't be fully treated as leaving. Really? Two patients again. Why are you not able to be fully treated? We're not able to regularly hospitalize you? No, fr we just need more beds. We need more flipping beds. Like we are trying to deal with, we are trying to deal with like a huge number of patients here and we, we just have nowhere near, we just have nowhere near the number of beds. It's gotta be said, we just have nowhere near the number of beds. Just even regular beds, to be honest. Not even like the, the high dependency unit beds, just like regular beds. We just straight up do not have them. Okay, excellent. And... Oh, I flipped that up, didn't I? Is that good? That looks good to me. You know what? I will get a second bed as soon as I have... As soon as I have a little bit more money. I cannot believe the sheer number of beds that we have in the general surgery department. That blows my brain. Blows my brain right out the window. Speaking of the general surgery department, how many surgeries do we have? Two surgeries, two abdominal surgeries are scheduled at the moment. 
Yeah. I mean, that's fine. We're doing a fairly good job of, uh, of keeping on top of our surgeries. The surgical team is, is pretty on the ball, to be fair. Uh, Prestige is in a good place as well. I, I think that we've got on top of our... our messy corridor situation. Looks like everything is fairly clean. We do need to get a cleaning department over in the infectious diseases area. Clinic is about to leave. A patient is about to leave the clinic. Uh, yeah, we also need to get more doctor's offices over here. Like, this is kind of bonkers. Also, people are still... People are still coming for the vending machine. Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think tomorrow we should take a, a long, hard look at the... At the infectious diseases department. And we'll see what we can do about it. Because this is... This is pretty unacceptable. I think we need at least one, maybe two additional doctor's offices at this rate. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Golfer's elbow. Have I diagnosed it? No, I've not diagnosed anyone. We're waiting for that fungal sampling thing. I can't remember who our patient was, but there was somebody. There was somebody that that uh, that had a fungal that had a fungal thing wrong with them. All right. Okay. Couple of patients leave the clinic, but that's absolutely fine. I think we ended up turning a profit today, even though we're still still negative cash at the end of the day. I think that's fine. Long wait for treatments. I mean, look, that's that's not something that we can deal with at this moment in time. Or is it actually something that we can deal with at this moment in time? Because I believe... I believe... Dialysis? Is dialysis done... It's done the diagnostic unit. Which means that it's doctors that do... Doctors slash technologists. Also, do we not have anyone working in the sonography unit? I guess we'll hire somebody to work in the sonography unit just for the day? Sure. We've got one person working at the general surgery uh, the general surgery doctor's office during the evening, but that's fine. Long wait for examination. That's fine. We can just about endure that. Either way, this is looking this is looking a little bit better. Patient waited too long and is leaving. Yeah, look, as I say, if it's if it's the infectious diseases department, we're gonna we're gonna take another look at the area. And we're gonna sort it out. Don't worry about it. We also need to get a uh, a floor cleaning staff in here as well. That's pretty darn important. Okay, so at the end of the day, you know, we end up losing an extra couple of grand. How much did we how much did we make or lose yesterday? Honestly, we we would have. We would have made money yesterday if we hadn't built anything. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. We would have made money if we hadn't built anything, and also we didn't end up getting charged, you know, however much money we did get charged for failing a surgery there. Yeah, that's pretty irritating. Pretty darned irritating. In the extreme. Okay. Oh, man. Not, okay. Having no one treated patients for seven days is insanely challenging. It is insanely challenging. Especially when we have so many patients. I I'm sorry, it just is. It's just challenging. Nurse specialist, brilliant. Perform 10 surgeries, increase increase uh, clinic patients to a day to 25. Reach 95% prestige at the end of... At the end of... At, sorry, at any specialized department. That's a $200,000 government grant, which is exactly what we need. And we're going to get that. We're going to get that. We've had really, really high prestige pretty darn consistently. And it's been it's been pretty darn excellent, actually. Opening another department, I mean, sure, we can open another department. Do I want to? Not yet. I think I just want to open the hospitalization of the uh, of the infectious diseases department. That's what I'm really interested in. You're going to leave... You're going to leave the clinic. Why are you going to leave the clinic? It's just because you're waiting for the doctor. That's no, no worries. No worries, dude. No worries. Synthetic thyroid hormones. What the heck is that? I, don't, I have no idea what that is. You're waiting at this moment in time. What are you doing? You're idle? Uh, okay. Weird that you're not gonna do anything about the patient sitting in the waiting room, but whatever. Patient is about to leave the clinic. Yeah, okay, look, there's so many things. There's so many things wrong with this department. It really is, it really is a scandal. Okay, let's leverage ourselves even more than we already were. Uh, more money, more money, more money. Here we go. What do we got? I need... I need two additional. I need two additional 
and doctor's offices. It's a DID office. That's what I've got, right? That's exactly what I've got. That's exactly what I need. Brilliant. Only costs 5.2... 5.2 grand. Brilliant. And we'll get another one there as well. Okay. Build the floor. Extend it a little bit. Establish that. Delete wall. Delete that wall. Upon doing that, we grab two brand new doctors. Cheap doctors, mind you. We ain't made of money here. And then we should be able to process patients much, 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 much more quickly. You're still waiting to be seen by somebody, which kind of blows my mind, but that's okay. I have no idea where you, the heck you actually are. Oh, you're all the way over here. You're still, you're still just waiting. Yeah, I mean, I suspect that we'll probably need to, I suspect that we'll probably just need to employ more people to work, to work the night shift over here. It's always a little bit contentious when the day shift starts and the night shift ends, especially with stuff like radiology and medical labs and whatnot. You're about to leave. Again, you're here too. It looks like... African tick bite fever, Queensland tick typhus, or Tebola. I have no idea. I have no idea what those actually are, what that means. How, how are we doing in terms of... Wow. Okay, so patient numbers in patient numbers in this in this area it's just far too darn high look at this this is the price that we have to pay for this is the price that we have to pay for uh, for a high level of certainty and i don't like it i don't like it even slightly it's not good it's not 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 good right where is where is intern mckintern performing an interview I would love to diagnose somebody. Yes, let's do it. I could just take control of all doctors, by the way, and then do this achievement super quickly. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay. Hay fever? Yes, you've got hay fever. Oh, <gasps> that's one. That's one. That's one. We did it. Okay, antihistamines. And we'll send you home. Brilliant. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take control of the day doctors in, in the emergency rooms. This is actually kind of fun. Okay, we need to go to here. Jessica... Jessica Garcia, and I think this is Robert Robert Hall. Okay. I want to be a real doctor. Okay. Ooh. This, this looks, this looks interesting. What can we do? Temperature measurements. Temperature, me do a temperature measurement. If that's all right. Do a neck palpitation. Do a oral cavity inspection. Just do the easy stuff, right? Basic visual test, ear examination, nasal cavity inspection, thorax, whatever, blood pressure. Do it all. Do it all. That's totally fine. All right. Is there a way that I can see... Is there a way that I can see all of these patients together? I don't think there is. Okay. What have you got? Let's just do, you know, we'll just do the same sort of stuff as well. Just do the basic, the basic stuff. All right. Yeah. Basic stuff. Keep doing the basic stuff and we'll be fine. Collapsed patient. Is that one of mine? I mean, it is one of mine, but it's not somebody that I'm actually directly responsible for, which is great. Happy with that. I mean, look, as long as we're about to just... As long as we're able to diagnose people, then that's fine. Are we still having capacity issues over in the infectious diseases area? That kind of blows my mind, to be honest. There's no free bed in HDU hospitalization. I simply do not believe it. I simply do not believe it. Do I want to hospitalize you in the ICU? No, no, I do not. I do not want to hospitalize you in the ICU. But I want to... I would like an internal investigation, please, to determine where the heck all of our beds are going. This is ridiculous. You know, one day we're... One day we're ICU beds down. The next day we're... We're HDU beds down. It's just the whole... The whole thing is, is just completely out of whack. 
Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know how we can fix this. Can we squeeze in a bed anywhere? Is that what we want to do? Because, I mean, the other option... The other option, which is always open to us, as long as as long as we have a line of credit, is just to is to build more stuff, um, which is good because it increases the capacity of our hospital. But at the end of the day, it costs money, you know. It ain't free running a hospital, yo, or something. Sure, build it over here. Actually, yeah. Or maybe don't do that. Just build it there. Just build it there. Sure. Excellent. So now we got a, an HDU. An HDU bed. Patient is already hospitalized. Yeah, okay, cool. You're at HDU already. Brilliant. Neck palpitation. What have we got wrong with you? Iron deficiency. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. That's what we like to see. We'll give you an iron supplement. Be on your way. Thank you very much. Wonderful. I'm a genius. Diagnostic genius. That's right. That's right. Dr. Dr. Intern McIntern strikes again. His genius is unrivaled. Give me some stretches. How many flipping stretches do I actually need in this department? More than, more than we have, apparently. All right. What do we got? Blood pressure measurements. Uh, what is going to determine what is going to determine what infectious disease issue we have here? I mean, presumably some sort of some sort of weird fungal microbial sampling. Do microbial sampling. How about that? How about you do that? All right. What have you, what have you got? You've either got hepatitis A or hepatitis E. Supportive therapy or rest. Uh, I mean, what can what can determine the difference there? Nausea, physical examination. Have we not done a physical examination yet? We have, but intern McIntern is just terrible at his job, so therefore cannot determine what the heck is going on. All right, skin allergy test. Sure, just do all of the tests that we can, as I say, realistically, realistically do over here. All right, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, so it's either influenza B or influenza A. What the heck is the difference between the, the between the influenzas? We got to do serologic testing, I think. We'll just do that, eh? Serologic testing. Brilliant. Get to it. Thank you very much. Okay. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Two out of ten patients seen to. What have you got? You've got chlorine gas poisoning. Well, we we did try we did try to foist that diagnosis on somebody, and then we ended up doing a, an unnecessary operation. That was. That was a bit of a problem. Okay, yeah, we just do we just do a whole bunch of tests. We just do a whole bunch of tests, even if it ends up taking a little bit of extra time. It's always good to over-test, right? Hey, look at that. Athlete's foot. Antifungal ointment. There you go. Well done. You're treated. Get home. Elizabeth Jackson, you're more than welcome. Patient is leaving. Japanese spotted fever or Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Flippin' heck, this is crazy. Uh, speaking of, speaking of fever, how are we doing? We're actually doing, we're actually doing not too bad over here. Irritable bowel syndrome or that. Well, we know it's irritable bowel syndrome. Diet modification, prescribed, get out of here. It cannot be gyar, gyardiasis because, uh, because we don't have an internal medicine department. Therefore, it's, the game is not gonna is not going to offer me a diagnosis like that. Hay fever? Oh, brilliant. Antihistamines? Love to see it. Get out of here. Brilliant. Evaluation? You've either... You've still got either hepatitis. I mean... What can... What can we do here? What's the type of testing? It's, it's a blood test? It's literally just a blood test, isn't it? Okay, blood draw. Let's do it. Right, do a blood draw. That'll be fine. 5 out of 10... 5 out of 10 solved. Is there a chance that we can maybe fix fix this by the end of the day? Proton pump inhibitors can't be prescribed at this department. That is fine. If I send you across to general surgery, you can be taken care of then. Proton pump inhibitors, excellent. We can HDU hospitalize you if you need to be. Sure, you can be HDU hospitalized. 
Nice. Excellent. Okay, patient is leaving. Again, I have absolutely no idea why on earth it's it's taking such a long time for us to catch up on all of our uh, infectious diseases patients. I'm a little bit disgruntled, to be honest. I, I feel like we're over capacity as well, and therefore everyone is having like an absolutely miserable time, and the quality of care is just is just awful. Uh, also, look at this. Look at this. Look at this monstrosity of a figure. Yeah, we have got like a gazillion, a gazillion doctors and technologists that are working in the medical labs department, and it's showing no sign of slowing down. So, what testing is this? This is a hematology lab right i think we're just gonna we're just gonna plump for uh for a second one of those hematology lab yeah okay 12 by 12 fits in there absolutely perfectly it's gonna cost me a lot of money that's 30 grand that's 30 grand down the drain and i say down the drain it's not down the drain but we need to fill this we need to fill this full of scientists as well there we go excellent and we'll get two night scientists as well, just to see if we can try and... Just to see if we can try and deal with this slightly better. Because th this is just this is just insane. This is just absolutely insane. It's such an important function of our hospital. Microbial sampling is completed. Excellent. Diagnose you. And what do we need to do? We need to diagnose this. Can't be prescribed at this department. That's okay. I've diagnosed you and therefore you can be moved across can be given that and uh and we can address that excellent good stuff six out of ten. Six out of ten what do we got we have got a whole bunch of stuff that is really almost certainly only going to be diagnosable with a with a test with a with a blood test sure And then maybe we'll see if we can get some, do an evaluation. Sure. Let me, let me know what that comes back with. I'm curious. Curious to see if we can narrow down the, narrow down the possible, the possible diseases. Cool. All right, so we're almost there. We're really, really, really fighting for this $50,000 government grant. If it wasn't as much on the line, uh, I don't think I would be anywhere near as bothered about doing this sort of mini mission thing here. Procedure finished, interview. I would love if we could just like determine exactly what the heck was wrong with you without without going through a complicated list of tests. But that's fine. And now you've got either Okay, great. Fine, you've got there's a lot of infectious diseases thing coming our way. PCR testing, we do PCR testing. PCR sampling. Excellent. You've left? You straight up left the department? Oh, is it because the day ended? Is it because the day ended and tomorrow you'll come back? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, what can we do? Just do, do all of that. Do all of that. You're also on zero, you're on zero enthusiasm, so you're probably, you're probably looking to leave as well. If we could just, if we could just maybe discover one more symptom, that would really help. Clinic is about to leave the patient. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I am dealing with all of the, with all of the, the patients in the emergency department. Patient that couldn't be treated is leaving. Why the heck are you not able to be treated? I can put you in the HDU department, put you in an HDU bed, but that ain't going to make a darn difference. Hey, successfully diagnosed. Brilliant. Okay, so that's us up to seven. That's good. We are so flipping close. We are so, 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 so flipping close. Can I take control of some more doctors, please? So we got you and we got you. The entire, the entire emergency department is in my hands. It's terrifying. Influenza B, antivirals, great. Head home. Brilliant. 8 out of 10. I have no idea with you. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. What would tell us? What would tell us? Uh, microbial. Microbial? Microbial. Sure, do that as well. Right, just go do some tests. That's totally fine. 
anyone that comes in we've just literally got two literally two people food contusion i know you have a food contusion numbing ointment let's go get sent home excellent one last patient and then we can and then we can end this nonsense uh cool i mean you've already been diagnosed presumably so i mean i can't really do anything about that but congratulations go home right give me the good news x-ray lower limb it's it's here easy peasy lemon squeezy okay so now i absolutely just uh oh, look at that fifty thousand fifty thousand government grant that is so 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 necessary right all of these all of these noobs get out of my face get out of my face look at that okay the the game is back in control which is excellent very very happy about that patient is about to leave the clinic honestly go to go to infectious diseases you probably have an infectious disease and honestly, you'll probably get seen faster over there. And if you don't get seen faster, I'll just hire some more doctors. I'll hire another another brand new another brand new infectious disease doctor to uh, to help out there. Also, this area is just a disaster, just a disaster. Ninety five percent prestige at any specialized departments. I suspect that we're on course for that. Let's have a little look. Are there enough free nurses to transport? I don't know. I don't care. Look at that! Look at that money rolling in! Oh my goodness! Two hundred thousand government grant. Patient numbers are back to normal. That is fine with me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so thankfully, thankfully, we're going to be able to reduce our debt load back down to only $120,000, which is excellent. Very, very good. Uh, liver TY. Yeah, we've completely, completely finished that, which is great. Uh, increased clinic patients per day. I mean, how much do we, how much prestige do we finish with? We finished yesterday's prestige with only 80. It was only 80%, actually. That's a little bit, a little bit irritating. Uh, treat patients of controlled doctors in intern mode. Increase clinic patients per day to 20. I mean, I do want this. Do I want it enough to, to play through doctor's mode at this moment in time? I mean, I don't think that I really do, uh, to be brutally honest, but that's fine. Also, before we go any further, I must very, very briefly just build a cleaning closet here. Just because costs almost nothing and uh and we do need we do need stuff to be cleaned here i mean it's just it's just the reality of the situation isn't it it's just the reality of the situation uh what am i doing yeah there we go excellent okay let's get cleaned up let's make sure that the corridor is correctly identified as a corridor brilliant cool all right happy happy days that is looking really, really good. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. What? There's always something, isn't there? There is always something. The ICU, to me, looks pretty full. Not happy about it. Not happy about that at all. I mean, if I want to get some more ICU beds, that ends up costing uh, like a, an absolute arm and a leg. Not not literally, but but almost almost literally. How much money did I end up making yesterday? Obviously, you know, disregarding the, the 200,000 grant monies that I ended up getting. I tell you what, we actually made 4,500 bucks yesterday. That's not half bad. That's not half bad at all. That is not half bad at all. I am very, very happy with that. Now, of course, that included that included all of the extra all of the extra medical labs people that I ended up employing to try and cut back on the on the wait times of patients. Looks like we've done that fairly effectively. The the wait patient uh, the wait time for the patients, by the way, which you can see above the the rooms here or the number of patients that are that are being diagnosed it's decreased substantially so i think maybe with that extra with that extra room we might be able to treat patients slightly faster i'm really really hoping that that's the case you're now attending excellent that's really really good i mean look what is the problem overall still still we need more rooms right we need more rooms hospitalization on infectious diseases is not functional no you're right it is not functional it is absolutely not functional it is not functional. Should we make it functional? I mean, we can make it functional. Do we want to make it functional now? I feel like we kind of do, right? I feel like we absolutely kind of do. Let's get let's get an infectious diseases. Oh my god, it's gonna be it's gonna be so expensive, isn't it? It's gonna be so expensive. Okay, so we got the DID offices, the diagnostic units. I mean, do I want to keep it sort of independent? I think I kind of do. The more independent, the more independent, the more isolated it is, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Right, so we'll get a diagnostic unit. Great. An on-call room. A big on-call room or a small on-call room? I feel like the bigger the on-call room, the better the on-call room. Right? Is that reasonable to say? 
What's the cost difference? Basically a grand. Basically a grand of difference. Okay, first of all, let me see if I can just build out the corridor a little bit. So 4x4, four four, excellent. And we'll just build like right up to the edge of the map here. Cool. Again, I know I'm not in a great financial position, but that's fine. Okay, on on room uh, on call room. Let's get this. Let's get this actually over here. I know that the door is going to end up being slightly off center, which is which is not exactly ideal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that so that it's flush with the the edge of the building, and then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to remove this, and then we can put in we can put in the door. Uh, I'll move the plant pot around a little bit. I'll take out an extra 20 grand. I mean, look, what's what's 20 grand when added to 120 grand? It's, it's not, not very much, that's for sure. Okay, so that actually looks pretty darn good. And this is, I think, where we can try to, you know, save money and give ourselves, give ourselves a little pat on the back for modifying the existing, uh, for modifying the existing templates in the, uh, in the game. Look at this. This looks very, very professional. This looks properly good. So that's the nurse's station. That's excellent. We've still got money. Still got money. Very, very good. Very, very happy with that. Uh, regular wards, isolation units. Isolation units are going to cost a hell of a lot of money. A regular ward is a regular ward. So like the first thing that we want to get over here. I feel like, I feel like we should sort of take an approach that is like, the further into the maze you get, the more, the more locked down it sort of is. So an isolation, an isolation unit. I mean, that's a single isolation unit, and that's a triple isolation unit. Is there a cost difference there? That's 11 grand, and that's 28 grand. So I feel like that's what we kind of want to go for, right? We want to go for the the 28 grand isolation unit. But then again, at the same time, we're going to need, like, regular... We're going to need, like, regular wardrooms for regular patients, too. So let's go for the regular wardroom over here. Fine. Let's Let's get another... Another couple of another couple of loans. Brilliant. Do we need an isolation room? We need an isolation unit and a cardiography unit in order to make this area just completely work. Then we're also gonna need a little bit of extra cash just to, you know, polish up the the edge and whatnot. So we got a regular ward over there, regular unit over there. Isolation unit is gonna come down right over here. We're not gonna worry about the path. We're not gonna worry about the path over to this area. That's fine. Okay, I think I think that's it. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to actually open the open the department up if we can place this down over here. Looking good. Very very happy with that in fact. Look at this. Look at this department. It actually looks like professional. What the heck happened here, folks? What the heck happened? Okay, so that goes there. We erect walls up there. Brilliant. So is that enough to is that enough to to just sort of work? Everything is inaccessible, I know, which I appreciate, and that sucks. But um but we're gonna we're gonna take this off over here. Great. So basically everything everything in this area is is off limits, right? As far as I'm concerned. Hospitalization, we're ready to go. Three isolation units, four four regular beds. We just gotta we just gotta hire some staff. And then we're gonna be good to go? Is that it? We'll hire a technologist over here as well. Cardiography unit. Yeah, just one technologist for the day. One technologist during the night. Fine. We'll grab... How many nurses do we want to... Do we want to get? What, like two? Medical surgery. We don't actually need a medical surgery specialty. So we'll just keep the... We'll keep the costs down. Excellent. Uh, two nurses during the day. One nurse during the night. That seems entirely reasonable to me. Maybe two nurses during the night just to be on the safe side. Uh, one doctor during the day. Somebody who's pretty good at epidemiology would be would be fantastic. Judy, I'm actually going to make you the chief doctor in this department because that is it's better. The the better you are at your specialty, the better you'll be as a chief doctor. What do you know? Bada bim, bada boom. We have got ourselves an infectious diseases hospitalization area. You need to be. Do you need to be quarantined? You need to be. Oh, you're going to be the first patient that we have in isolation. How cool is that? Hospitalized, transported to room. Uh, the fact that you're coming into the fact that you're coming into the trauma center is probably not ideal. I don't know if there's any way that we can make it a little bit safer for staff and patients around here. Also, biohazard area entry only with uh, protective face masks and gloves. Anything past this point, right? I think has got to be biohazard protected. I think, right? Everything past this point. Everything past this point. I think that's what it's got to be. 
Okay, let's uh, let's have a little look. I'm gonna follow your. I'm gonna follow your your progress. Rat bite fever or Lyme disease. I can just stick you into isolation hospitalization. Is this like an ICU? I mean, it's kind of comparable to an ICU, I guess. Are you being transported to the room? You are indeed being transported to the room. This is a weird stretcher that we've got coming down over here. Is this an? Is this like a special isolation stretcher? I wonder what the heck is going to happen here. Let's have a little look-see. No, I know that there is like an isolation stretcher. I guess we haven't uh, we haven't seen the circumstances yet where where people would use it. Anyway, double time, double time, double time. Thank you very much. Patient is about to leave the clinic. Uh, you haven't been in some time. Let me go and just address your concerns very, very briefly. Uh, we do have your idol. Paul Thomas is still waiting. Why on earth are you not... Do something about this, please. Do something about it. Thank you. I hope. I hope something will get done over there. If not, who cares, frankly. Okay, right into isolation, please. Let's see what the heck is going to happen over here. And then presumably the doctors are going to rush out of the room. And uh, and see to this patient. Oh my giddy aunt. This is very, very cool. I have no idea what's going to happen when the... When the staff get infected. Either way, you look like you're you look like you're in a little bit of trouble over here. But you have been diagnosed. You can be treated for for this. What what the heck is what the heck is this? Uh it's an antibiotic used to fight various bacterial diseases. Either way, it's it's actually really, really easy for you to get treated. I guess we'll just see what the heck happens. The patient is gonna be moved. Where the heck are they gonna be moved to? They're moved right into into this office here. Now, uh, the the location of this office makes me actually think that we might be better. We might be better just making this entire area a biohazard area. I did originally plan for that, but I thought that this was a room that could be used by uh, by these patients over here, but apparently not. You have got an infectious diseases issue as well, so. I'd love to put you into isolation, but I can't put you into isolation at this moment in time. You're being moved to the trauma center, but the trauma center is... The trauma center is supposedly occupied at this moment in time, which kind of blows my brain. Who's occupying the trauma center bed? It's you! It's Casey Lewis! It's this guy. You're gonna leave because the doctor hasn't seen you. Disgraceful conduct. That's fine. Patient can't be fully treated. Uh, I mean, just HDU hospitalize, and then we can do triple therapy treatment. Excellent. Patient can't be fully treated. Again, band legation, it can be. You just need to be put in the hospital, and then you can be... And then you can be band legationed. Whatever the heck that means. Uh, yep. Cool. Excellent. All right. But our patient, our patient in the isolation unit is looking pretty darn cool. It's, what a swanky place to be, eh? What a swanky place to be. Don't look at the rest of the hospital. Just look at the, look at the bit that I'm most proud of. The rest of the hospital needs work. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Oh, somebody else is, is in the isolation unit. Jennifer Jackson. Uh, rat bite fever. And it only requires $600 antibiotics. Honestly, that is very, very disappointing. Transported, a uh, collapsed patient is being transported to another hospital. Honestly, that's probably because our trauma center is like super duper duper inadequate. Like it's just not, it's just not doing what a trauma center should do. Y you know, in an ideal world, right? The patient is only in the trauma center very, very briefly. And yet, it seems like our patients are in the trauma center for, like, a lot of time. Yeah. Okay, so, like, more needs to be done, for sure. More needs to be done, but, you know, we've definitely improved the hospital. I think with the addition of this second, uh, whatchamacallit, room, hematology lab, that's the one. I think with a second hematology lab, we're actually, we're actually going to be in a much, 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 much better place. Certainly going forward, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be challenging, but we're making it work. We're doing it, folks. We're absolutely doing it. Let's pay off another 20 grand of, uh, of debt. Look at that. 20, 28 grand is what we've made today. Holy cow. All it takes is a couple of, all it takes is a couple of patients to get out of hospital after getting operated on, and suddenly we are going to be, 
we are going to be in the money. We already are in the money. Anyway, folks, on that note, we're going to wrap this episode of Project Hospital up. What are we going to do in the next episode? It's a great question. I think we're going to expand massively the number of departments that we have. As we've only got, you know, five or six departments actually on... Uh, are actually open at this moment in time. So, uh, so there we go. Uh, ladies and gents, thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreon supporters. Patreon.com forward slash Robert Potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.